simply local dark life. The godfather of Sumfest after 30 years, what would you say is your biggest achievement? If you can just pick one. <laughs> you know, um, the, a big achievement is to make it for 30 years. That's very true. And, and it took 30 years for sponsors not to ask us who's on the lineup. Okay? And, um, and there's more of them than we've ever had before. So we're celebrating 30 years of Sunfest, and we know that you're a veteran in the industry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wait to call me. <laughs> no, no, no. no. So that is actually one of my questions. Why have to say to the people who say after a certain age, 40, 50, that you must sit down, circle down, home Which and be people who them? I don't know them. They exist. Five years, I am not tired. But me I do it 25 years now. Yeah. So what you was going by before you did name Kiyah Tired? Me just did name can't, can't, can't do him. nothing. <laughs> In my opinion, you're one of the top artists of today that still do songs for the ladies, and we appreciate that. And that is a complaint that many people have, that the ladies don't have the songs them anymore. What do you think is the important to sing songs for the ladies in today's music? I don't know I offer 10 to the ladies because they have been my number one supporters from day one. And no, they can't have the world without women. And we have to celebrate them always and forever. You don't know. How much girl you get in trouble with them man? Me? In recent times. A lot. A lot. <laughs> you can't put a number on it. Five, ten, twenty. A lot. A lot. A lot. Does 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 not make you be added? No, does not make you add to it. Me? Yeah, does not make you I, add to it. I'll take your word of advice. Yeah, does not make it. Me a problem. <laughs> Me a whole a problem. You're not booked for tonight for some reason. But you're here at Reggae Sumfest. Why did you choose to come out tonight? I mean, this is dancehall. I'm a dancehall artist. You know what I mean? Um, if I'm in Jamaica, why wouldn't I be at Sumfest? Would you say ever since you focused on Jamaican music, has it been more or less successful than when we had International Night a few years back? Well, we certainly hit more people, for sure. Definitely. You have so many international acts here. Uh, that, that people love all over the world so it was an easy one for me just to go all Jamaican but you know it's, we're thinking very seriously now about bringing some special acts from abroad No, I live all about the over here you know so you have to have phone for New York, phone for Canada, phone for England, phone for America, phone for Jamaica and, and phone for Jamaica Okay, I was going to say you sound like you don't live in Jamaica No, because you have to come back to Jamaica anyway you go because Jamaica is the best place. How do you feel about your performance tonight? Well, it's a great feeling for you know, to come out and do a good representation of myself, you know. I'm looking forward to the performances, you know, I'm looking forward to TJ performance. You know, it's, it's, one, of, it's one of my favorite performers in the new era of dancehall, you know. For older era, Big Up Beanie, Big Up Bounty. And how do you stay relevant in today's industry, in this male-dominated industry after so many years? I make music for people who are interested for listen to it. I yeah. don't really care about them relevant words. They know. Me make for my at, at, at seven point at billion people upon the planet. So if you find yourself not liking Tanya C's music, scroll on, move on to the next artist and go find something you like. I make music for who like my music. So I love it's relevant to them. We keep life real and keeping things real. And we love Mother Nature. You know, love ourselves, we love people. You know, and care and share. What we've done for the last many stagings is we really switch up our, our lineup, and people are wondering why isn't you know other people on the show? And says, well, you know, we have to have variations and yes. give other people opportunity, and and we work hard to make it real creative and raise the bar every year. I feel like I don't put out enough music, so people don't know that exactly. what I'm capable of doing. So. I'm promising going forward I'll be more consistent, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm somebody that put time and effort into what I do. So if I put out a song, I try to work it and get the most out of it. But I feel like music is so fast, I just have to keep on jumping. The outfit, it look custom. It custom? <laughs> well, it's semi-custom. Semi-custom? Yeah, because my, my, my uncle do a lot of work on it. Uncle, so big up your uncle, no? Yeah, big up Uncle Prince. My foot is dirty, follow me, come. My beard and lotion, my foot and then sitting there and all the while. You see me about the end idea is just a term. Because, you know, I'm not going to make it look like, yeah, we we too corporate. So even when I dress like this, you see me, I feel just match with one clocks. Because, 
you never forget the roots. No, sir. You're known for the phones. Yeah. But what is the significance of the phones? You know, it's a walking call center. Because me is walking with the phone. I don't stay one place. Okay. I go all over the world. And you need people to reach you all the time. Yeah. So, so, so how much phones do you have now? You know, a six. What next can we look out for from Richie Spice? Oh, lot of things. This is 2023. I'm releasing an album the 8th of September called Black Man Time. Uh, yeah, and we have a lot of singles out there kicking up. Yep. So, and we have tours coming up. Tours coming up? Yes. And we have spot days coming up. We have a lot of things coming up in 2023. Yeah, we have a whole lot of things going on. What next we can hear from you from the sauce bar? Oh, life is full of surprises. We never know me never get locked up. <laughs> I'm currently promoting a song um, featuring TJ, it's called Grand Theft Auto. Um, mm -hmm. I recently get caught up in. Um, the song Tell It All, so you just need to go listen to the song and watch the video. Um, it's doing very good in the streets now, trying to get it to radio. So just support the movement, support the single. You understand me? My single after that coming up is called Bougie. We know you in the dance, we know you in the middle of the party. You reach the some fest stage. Yeah. So what next we can expect from Kia Tired? You know, a whole heap of things you know, go happen, you know. Because most naturally, when, when you put out the work, you must reach somewhere in life. You see me, I say? So, I say it go. See him so. Do you prefer regular dancehall? <laughs> mm, that's a tough one. I know. Yeah, well, um, I love dancehall, you know, because I'm a, I'm a, a youthful person. But I, but I love reggae because reggae is so spiritual and connects with the world in ways that trendy music doesn't last. So, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, uh, reggae is very special. Right here. You know, say, it's a phone control. It's a phone control. Yeah. So you control the whole of Jamaica and the whole of Parina everywhere, <laughs> over the world. And that's your personal yeah. phone. Yeah. So, you know, it's things set. So when you have them phone here, yeah, you know, so you can call everybody over the world. All right. But when you have a small one, yeah. you can call one somebody at a time. Just me alone have access to them phone, you know. And how you get that? Because, you know, say when you have links, you get anything. Who for tell me when Miguel stop on go? Exactly. They must apply it. Right. Cheers to another 30 years and more. <laughs> <laughs>